Hi, John here from Into the Pit. There's a lot of rankings out there on death albums and of course many other bands. But um, some of the rankings really show that a lot of people are keen on Sound of Perseverance and those later death albums. I myself am much more of an old school death fan, Scream Bloody Gore, Leprosy, Spiritual Healing. And an album that I think gets mentioned, uh, doesn't get mentioned enough, is Human. This for me is still killer death metal, albeit more technical. You've got a different lineup here with Sean Reinhardt, I think, and um, let's just check the other name. But um, technical, still yet brutal and killer songs. Um, the follow-up, Individual Thought Patterns, uh, was a bit more, not that, that it's more technical on this one, it's just more with Andy the Rock on guitar, it, it's just, uh, let's say it's got more detailed and it didn't quite age that well for me. Um, and then afterwards I believe it was um, Symbolic, and which I enjoyed, it was actually quite a cool album. And then um, I think that was already the, um, the final album that they did on Nuclear Blast with Perseverance of... the uh, Sound Perseverance. I keep missing it with Anthrax, Persistence of Time. Anyway, but um, getting back to this, um, Flattening of Emotions, Suicide Machine, Together as One, Secret Face, Lack of Comprehension, oh, Vacant Planets, and yeah, this album just really kicks ass. Love it. But if I, I think if I had to choose, it would probably still be up there with Leprosy or Scream Bloody. Because that, it, it's just, it's probably because I got to know the band with those albums. And that are still um, connected with that vibe of discovering death metal. That they will always remain my favourites. And that's probably how it goes with most people. So if you climbed in on this album, then you're probably more prone to really enjoy this one, all the later albums. Um, yeah, I can't really understand people um, calling um, Sound of Perseverance their number one. That's kind of like, mm, I don't know, strange, but yeah. I, I didn't like the high-pitched vocals that Chuck went for. I didn't like that at all, so. Anyway, this is a good one. Um, I'm lucky to still have it on vinyl. Um, actually have a CD somewhere, but um, yeah, always nice to dig.